I heard none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard literally none of that. <laughs> Uh, what if it's like an underwater, like, he's like flying through? You know, like, uh, like bubble okay. noises or Let something. Me... Alright. No. Oh, no, Maya. Right. Has... Oh god, Maya scares me. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I have not, I have not opened this program either. <laughs> oh Fair. man. Maya, like, like, I could open Blender and like, Compared to my compared to Blender, Maya is so like so. Yeah, clean. but compared to Nomad Sculpt, <laughs> Maya is a nightmare. <laughs> I was trying to because you can do texture paint in Blender. I was trying to paint on some colors to see what uh -huh. would work, and I just could I couldn't even figure out how to like get a color onto Terry in Blender. <laughs> oh no! I what I want to do so I have the OBJ imported into Maya, and what I want to do is you remember how we um. Uh, you and I, Alex, were talking about when we took, um, Jim's class mm -hmm. and we were making, you know, normal maps and albedo, stuff like that. We did similar things when I took the Maya class, because it wasn't just a Maya class, it was like a 3D art pipeline class. Yeah, and didn't you um, end with, like, putting it in Unity? Yeah, so that was the end result, and part of that process was sort of, you know, making the albedo, the normals, and painting on like a 2D image that you can wrap on your object. Um, and so if I can export all the right files, if I can remember what those files that I need are, if I can export them from Maya, I can probably open them and paint on them in another program. My issue is I don't freaking remember how to use Maya. <laughs> and I also barely remember what things I need to be doing. Like, I should probably make him less high poly, like, first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think Terry needs to be as high poly as he is. He could be he's a much very super. high poly. But I, I just, I'm having such a hard time remembering, like, how to do everything. That's so fair. Uh, I'm gonna have to, um, first remember how to rotate my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how to do that. Uh, I would love Tell to. Tell me if you figure it out. Uh... I'm to find a different place to look at to look at chat because my iPad's clearly not doing it for me. Hmm. Oh shit! All three viewers we have. <laughs> Big money. Big yeah, we're money muted. That's there. fine. Can I look at just chat so I don't have the stream up? Because I don't want to see what you chat. were coding ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you can look at just chat. About that. Oh, Paul is in chat. That's why we have extra viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also watching it. Nice. Oh, I could try. I'm gonna go to go to mod view. I forget that I'm a Twitch moderator for this chat, so now I have a much better. You're the old there we moderator. go. No hate in chat, please. Hi, grandma. <laughs> I am a grandma. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so quality. Oh wow! Okay, they speak. They communicate with each other. Beautiful. This is this look is at that beautiful environment that we want to harbor. <laughs> is our okay? All right. Um. Okay. So you want particles that shoot out at the speed of light? Is this well, what you want? Well, I to just. See? I suppose, me making sound is probably not optimal for this stream because if we're going to be talking, I'm not going to be able to listen to my sounds. Mm -hmm. So I'll make them, but not today. Because right. I won't be able to participate in the stream if I have to like play the same thing over and over and over again. Right. Do you want to make animations? I can do that. I, I will open Blender and make Terry do things. Here's a question. So if you, okay, if I'm going to, first of all, make him low, lower poly, are you going to have to redo? I figured out I might have to. I might have to rerig. Actually, yeah, if you're going to low poly, <laughs> I would have to rig the new mesh. 
So, yeah, so if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna oh, yeah, we if we're gonna get a third somewhere. if we're gonna get a third Terry, then I'll wait to re rig and animate him. Terry yeah, I mean it might take me a while though, because I really don't remember a lot. Also, Paula. Yes. Navigation in Maya. Hold down Alt and left click your mouse and you can oh, rotate. Bro. Bless. And all and your scroll wheel and you can move. Okay. It's coming back oh. to me. It's coming back to me. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. I think okay, I think the word for what I need to do to Terry is re topologize. Yeah. That sounds correct. I forget what mode I need to do it in in Maya. What is Ooh, um, oh that's for Maya twenty twenty. I have Maya twenty nineteen. Uh, re topologize. Oh, 3D modeling is hard, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, start speed is deprecated. But it's is right it? here. It's in the particle well, thing. When, when was it deprecated? I don't know. But it, I mean, it's not oh. broken. It just says it's deprecated. So it should still work. Hmm. It just doesn't want me to use it. But I'm using it in here, and it works. So, odd draw tool. That sounds like something I learned how to use last year. <laughs> also, for my contribution, should I be making just like environment stuff, or is there something that we need more? I think environment stuff makes sense, unless okay. one can think of something we need more of right now. Well, more, more like, than environment like items. We still need. An, we still need like. Um, the thing that, yeah. that gives us like points i think that's slightly but more important than the environment stuff because it's like i could program stuff up with that um well we're also going to need the holes and then the flag in that hole i assume it is still a golf game so i think the holes should still have flags in them yeah okay wait wait so the goal is separate from the actual hole yes well so the because I think, well, here's, we, we haven't, like, established our core game loop yet. So the question <laughs> yeah. is... Uh, <laughs> we've established our gameplay, but not our loop. We don't know what... Yeah. The question is, are you... Do you have a set... Are you trying to minimize your strokes to get to a goal location? Or are you going around the world collecting things using golf mechanics to walk around? If it's if it's sandbox, I feel like the second one makes more sense to me. Yeah, that you, fits more with the sandbox that's what like I was vibe thinking too. Like, I don't think this is a type of game where you're like trying to maximize your efficiency with your strokes. You're just sort of like, yeah, I want to go that way. Yeah. So I, I yeah. don't think we need to track. Well, I don't think we should track strokes at all. I think mm -hmm. um, ideally, what we would do. Did we talk about doing tricks in midair? Was that just like a one-time little thing that we pitched and threw away? I can't remember. We talked about tricks, uh, but I don't think, like, Terry doing tricks. I think, like, the environment acting on Terry, maybe. Like, um... Yeah. Because in Frolf, it's like, if you land near something... Okay. It'll, like, play a little animation, and it'll be like, you got ten points for landing near this thing. That's the sort of stuff I was thinking. Okay, so, alright. So, what if... What if we, um... I think... We, we should do that and then have some kind of, um, like, like holes shouldn't be, like, holes shouldn't give points, but they should give a multiplier to your, um, to your points. I feel like, do we even need points? Like, not necessarily. It... I mean, because it's a jam game, we can say that we don't need points, but then there really is no loop except to wander. And I don't know if that, I don't know if that feels like, good. Points are, like, an easy win, I think, you know? That's true. I, I guess I'm just thinking like of like. Yeah, people uh, just like points. People like to have a number that says "I did good." I'm just thinking like, we could, if we do the, you land on your fish friend and your fish follows you around for the rest of the game kind of thing, and it's mm -hmm. less. It's it's more about like the reward of exploration instead of I don't know, just like. That's fair. I don't know if I could That's a fair phrase argument. this thought, I guess. But yeah. I'm Should good with either one. Yeah, if we had like a narrative goal or like some other type of collectible, I don't think we would need points. We just need. But Terry like... just likes to wander. That's the narrative goal. <laughs> if it's a sandbox game, that, that's just what my mind goes to. Of like, yeah. 
it, it just allows for that kind of like meandering exploration i guess yeah but sandbox usually also implies like you can build stuff and you won't you can't really like build stuff so if you that's like, true mm, that's also fair do we want to add a crafting system no <laughs> no <laughs> uh, but I, I do we want to do we want to start uh, Terry on a plane and drop him into the world? I want to uh, propose that we could play Craftopia in our next stream. Have you guys seen that game? Okay, I All have right. not seen that. It's beautiful. I think I'm look it up. It's uh, anime girls Breath of the Wild Minecraft Factorio. <laughs> what the it's, fuck? Uh, it's just beautiful. Uh, no, I've seen this and I can't. Play it. <laughs> It is a very beautiful. Nope. Beautiful Can't time. play it. Doesn't have Mac. <laughs> nope. Is, or is it Rip just me. I don't want to play it? <laughs> no, I cannot play it. I want um, to play it. I cannot play it. Wait, it's called Craftoria? It's called Craftopia. 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 Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what I can, I should be doing here. Because every, every time I'm like, oh, I can make sound. Oh, wait, I can't listen to my sounds when there's, I'm on a Discord call. Oh, wait, there's like 8 billion shaders. I'm apologizing, make. Terry. I could start making shaders. You could also go into... It's going to take me a hot minute to remember how to use my I'm sorry. That's okay. You could go <laughs> I, I could do something else. What? You could go into Unity, and you could either make like the title screen UI and stuff. Like, oh, yeah. put in Paula's thing as a temp thing and, like, make the buttons and stuff. Excuse me, temp? For the... <laughs> <laughs> no, I can make that. I can make the, I can make the, really I can make the title scene. I can yeah. make the title scene. That's fine. Do we want it to be a fully 2D or do we want it to be in a 3D space? I think either way. Like, whatever you think is best. Because we could always put but... in our 3D assets into that space and have the UI, like, at an angle. Like, you know how the cool games do. Oh. Yeah, because well, I was thinking, the, I was thinking, like, space. it would... Well, yeah. Here, let me let me phrase because I was thinking we I should pull the most recent version, but um, I was thinking we have it just like a camera that's like passively panning around the environment that you get, and then just start and it pulls you into it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Read to apologize, and mesh using the quad draw cool set a ref tool set a reference. Mesh. Leave my changes there. Not the quad draw tool. All right, new branch. Actually, no, I'm not going to touch anything in the main scene, so I can work here. I can work on this branch. This um, would be a lot easier if I hadn't not used Maya in literally a year. <laughs> I'm just on their, like, shortcut page. Just trying to what, believe it. What's the... Set a what's how the, do I uh... set a reference match? How recent is the most, is the most recent push? It should be everything from before today. Let me check. Set a reference match. Yeah, it was yesterday. That's not a lot of information, but I think it's everything from before I did. Why did Mobius terrain. open? Right, Why did Mobius like, open? Yeah, it's when I opened this other project terrain. So it should be. Oh well, that enough. that scene view looks. Oh no, it is. I have the terrain. Oh, you do have the terrain. Well, then, yes, I do have the terrain. Do you? Is it text? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, interesting. Then yeah, you've you've everything pretty much. <laughs> is is the skybox super fucked for you? Uh, I guess it depends on what you mean. <laughs> like, like, let me. When I play gonna... the game, I can't really even see the skybox because I'm in a. Well, no, in, of it. <laughs> in scene view. Go to scene view. Okay. And just really zoom out. Okay, no. So it's not, <laughs> Red it's Terry not living me. in the foreground. <laughs> oh, I don't have the UI though. That's in oh. I don't have the UI. Oh, that's probably the thing you don't have. But that's yeah, that's okay. The that UI, UI is uh, not important for making the title screen. Yeah, I don't have the UI. I have to make the UI. I mean, Paul, you could make final title screen assets. <laughs> but is it going to be like three D? Would we title want screen? like a I like the you idea know, you of having make... the 3D. If we make a 3D environment, we might as well use it. Like, if we make 3D yeah. environment <laughs> assets, we might as well use them for the... Ooh, could we do an automatic camera move that sort of goes slowly, like, left and right? Or, or that, uh... that was my plan, to just kind of slowly Ooh. circle around. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Yeah, cause you can Show off that beautiful, space. beautiful Terry. You can do world <laughs> space UI that, like, is part of yeah. the world, which I think is cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I think I'll do that. Be, what I think uh, the easiest thing to do would be is to, um, let's see. I'm going to copy the elements of the world that aren't Terry, so the terrain and the cube for now, and bring those into a new scene. And I'm going to finally rename this scene to something that's not sample scene. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. <laughs> Open the quad didn't... draw tool. <laughs> well, the... okay. Shift right answer. click. But yeah, you can rename also, that scene if you des hello? If you so desire. I just did. I'm, hello? Making, I'm making a new scene right now. <laughs> hello, hello Sala and Vanessa. Because oh. in chat, oh. my friends, they oh, came. Oh, the friends <laughs> came to chat. <laughs> They're learning the wonders of hello. the emojis. Of your no. job. <laughs> Learning the wonders of your job. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I this is what I spent all that money to learn how to do. <laughs> Just kind all of right. remember Maya. <laughs> yeah. Yep, exactly. I feel like a bunch of the people uh, that I lived with uh, throughout college went really hardcore into the like three D art pipeline. Like they all got really mm. interested in it. Took a whole bunch of classes and like put like really cool like um like art that they make in 3d on twitter and like i was like so inspired to also learn maya and like learn how to do 3d art for as long as it took me to take one 3d art class <laughs> <And> <laughs> i was like, like fuck i'm done that's it's it so, it's so hard when you like are coming that to it as a beginner mean. yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, I really admire them and the work that they do, like, all the more now, because I'm like, this is not something I'm good at. But then, you know what, I, I'm, I'm the one that suggested we do Terry in 3D this week, yeah, so. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we could have done 2D, this that is was the, the, original, the original world. I no, do not, think not that anymore. it's really good Alex, to oh, know. Your lights aren't um, shared in world. I was wondering why they didn't come with me when I copied the world over. Because <laughs> your lights aren't part of the world. No, they're not. They exist outside of the world. Well, not anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. I've got our our generic world here. Let's get let's get going here. Dust is brown. That's purple. What <laughs> color is brown? Brown is such a hard color. It's like the hardest color. The hardest color? Yeah, it's like the most difficult color. You know what I mean? To make look good? Yeah. Like to be brown without being gross, but also not being orange. It's like such a small band of, of browns. True. Eventually we'll have like a, a, a sprite though for dust, I think, right? Yeah, but if you yeah, click, I if think you. So. Press and hold Alt. You can zoom in and out with your right mouse button. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's These good. These are the hot my tips that I'm remembering. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I was just trying to figure that out. <laughs> I yeah. wish I could remember. I wish I could remember how to use a primitive when I'm retopologizing. Like I'm pretty sure that's a thing you can do. Yeah, like if I could just use like a couple of primitive spheres for his eyes, um, like I'm pretty sure that's a thing. It's weird but you know, do you need to know how to make guide. a primitive? Oh, yeah, rip. Discord guide. Yeah. Rip. Like I'm still on the call, and also I'm sharing my screen to Casey, but I cannot access Discord. I cannot look at it. Well, you I can. Was when you show chat Paula's art, but when you're done, you could stop. Is is there fresh art in the? Well, I was going to show him the old art. Oh, the old art. Oh, Tadpole oh. Golf 3D. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to show them. But I've got perpetual errors. I Rip. can't, like, look at, at Discord. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, great. This is awesome. This is a tutorial I can watch uh, muted because he puts all of his tutorial in um, text form. Okay. What an, what an absolute unit. I'm going to quit Discord and then come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going back to Discord. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think I've reminded you of what this world is like. Okay. Amanda, do you remember what it's true? Right back in the call. 
to extrude. Oh, well done. Yeah. Like, I have a bunch okay. of planes selected. Yeah, so if you um, mm -hmm. go, it's in your um, modeling toolkit under components. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> Words As words that, that I just said. said. Okay. Okay. Right. So, oh, what workspace wait. are you using? Oh. Okay, I just see it. Never mind. Okay. Yay. Thank you. I think You're I'm welcome. a standard modeling. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Should the hole be like an actual hole? I was just gonna make like a disc with a flag. I think it should just be a disc because if it can't really be a hole, because we place it at ground level, like the ground will be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. So I I'll do worry something. about like the inside of it. Okay, thank you. Remember how, really how I'm making vertices and how do you connect them? Create polygons. That's how. <laughs> uh what what camera projection are we using, Alex? Create polygons. Okay, cool. I just had to double check. I didn't want to pull us into an orthographic camera and be like, hey, I fucked it. Nah, we ain't, <laughs> we ain't that. We ain't that way. I'm trying to figure out, like, the best, because everything's kind of down the best angle to, like, rotate the camera. Oh. Or do I have the camera start at before it spins? Hmm. Create polygons, make quads, and fill triangular shaped holes. We should have our names like floating around in there. <laughs> oh, is um in the menu? I think I'll just yeah. I'm just gonna not I'm just gonna set it to rotate and not care if it clips through the environment because I I would rather like just make sure it works and then align it to uh, spin around mm -hmm. the final environment instead of a hole in the ground with a cube in it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I'm remembering things. I don't uh, remember Anne Rick. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm learning hell about, yeah. about particle system dot burst. <laughs> and good, we need that. Terry, Terry's got to land in a way that feels satisfying. Yeah, it's like minimum number. Yeah, you did it. Number of particles. Oh. Why would I need a minimum and a maximum for a burst? Probability one. What is the interval? This all seems seems fine. There, a in a tree thing <laughs> there's don't not don't symmetry. you dare tell me it's that easy oh they're don't definitely don't you fucking dare tell me it's that easy period. don't I wonder if tell me that it's just transformed or rotate in the update loop because i'm gonna be so angry if that's all it takes <laughs> it looks like there's a symmetry drop. drop down in the modeling toolkit modeling toolkit Symmetry, not seen it yet. I definitely you remember. I have a, my my tadpole two dot mesh is live <laughs> right now, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> which means that I am using the quad draw tool on it and it sticks to it. But um, uh. I'm not, I don't, I don't think I have an object selected until I create a new polygon, mm -hmm. which I don't want to do yet because, oh, here we go, symmetry off. Turn that, the hex on. Topology. Select mesh edge oh. for symmetry. Oh. Let's try that again. Object. Do I want object uh, Y? I'm so angry. <laughs> that really is all it is. <laughs> I could have figured that out just by thinking about it instead of just going, how do I do it? It's probably something dumb. Because I, I thought there would be some weird center camera thing that you would have to do that makes it weird, but I was wrong. It literally is just mm -hmm. 
Just literally rotate the transform of the camera around a point. Okay, it's not object Y. <laughs> that is not the symmetry line that I want. <laughs> yep, and it's rotate. I'm so angry with myself that I didn't just think about it for five seconds. <laughs> it's okay, see, we. It's okay, Casey. We believe in you. Those are the words. Well, great. <laughs> I, I don't think. Oh wait, oh, I don't shit. want the camera controller. I want the camera rotator. I'm like, why the hell is there a Terry variable in my <laughs> that I didn't put in here? Let's just do one for now. See how that pans out. And I need an object to rotate around. Ooh. If you press Alt Z in Maya. Uh huh. This is crazy. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but it will automatically snap the camera around for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, up there's, there's the weird thing. There's the weird thing. Because it's it's not attached to the camera. Like, like uh, it's attached to an empty object that apparents the camera. It's the whole thing. You can't move the camera. You have to move the camera's parent. Hmm. And I snap. Tadpole to mesh two zero zero. How do I do that? Because he's not and there. Then, how do oh, I already have a custom gravity strip? With the... Do you? If you I go do. to. Is it empty? Uh, yes, it's empty, but I have it. That's because I made it. It's empty. I have it too. Okay, but I didn't pull <laughs> recently, so why do I have it? Enter pivot, select know. an object. If you right click and then go to object mode, you yes. can go to the channel box and then the translations are right there. Ooh. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm figuring do... this out too. This is so <laughs> nice to work on, on Maya together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're we're we, we learn together here on stream with chat. We're a team. Is there such a way as to like um I don't think my computer is good enough for it, but it would be cool one day if we're streaming to be able to switch between like you guys on Unity and like one of us on Maya. Yeah. yeah. That's what we that's like the the stream dream. The dream stream. <laughs> don't we need a, wouldn't we need a master stream computer for that though? That's well, getting all the feeds. My computer could do that and stream itself. But um we'd need really good streaming because it would be we need your like stream a... going to my stream going out so it has oh, to be yeah. a really good we can, connection between yeah. my mm -hmm. we can and we can do a test and we can do a test and just say it's gonna be it could be really bad if you want to mm -hmm. just show people you could stream on discord and then i could open the discord stream no my computer hates discord <laughs> oh, if we streaming. Do that. oh yeah remember yeah, yeah. So why is this still not working, Symmetry? Why are you doing this to me? Um, okay, let's cool. try... Rotating that rotates the camera. No. Hmm. We will keep trying. Amanda, do you remember how... What's it, what's it called when you, like, cut a mesh in a circle? Ooh. Like the loop? And then you want to select Ooh. the whole loop? <laughs> Ooh, that's so familiar. Oh to me. man! I know, I know. Move this thing <laughs> up in the world. Um, what is that? Is that like a an edge? So I think uh, you okay. might want multi cut. Camera rotators. Yeah, it's an edge loop. How do you select right? that though? Um, oh, I think you. I think you would shift. Uh, click on whatever that. Um. Not the vertex, the line, and it highlights the whole loop in green. You should be good. Oh. That's me based on my like sense memory. <laughs> okay, cool. We've that got a should... we've got a sick we've got a sick passive rotator that does passive rotation nice and slow. Cool. Provided Wait. that it has a an anchor point in the center of the world. Because right now the terrain is... Actually, I could change where the terrain is because it's a different scene. Yeah, you know, The world is not anchored at zero, zero, zero. So it doesn't rotate directly around the world. That's fair. Why, I, why is symmetry not working the way I want it to work? This is sad. 
for me. <laughs> we make the world at zero and the rotator. Said, I'm sorry. It's okay. Why? Why is the rotator zero 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 at a different zero than all Oops. zeros than the world? What you oh, because the the world's position the it is because the world's zero zero is the thing. But the, I'm gonna move just move this rotator to the to the center of the actual world's game space instead of its own thing there. Is there a way to view your line of symmetry? Maya, 2019 view line of symmetry. I'm going to just really crank the speed up oh. like minus 200 so I can see how Select it spins. An edge okay, so on it spins the seam of your off polygon. Okay, that will do for now, I think, in terms of having it rotate because we could fix the where it is in the world after. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that we get more viewers when we're just like doing when we're just like at work than we do when we're trying to have fun. <laughs> I think that it's interesting to watch people work, you know? Um that's yeah. why it's so cool oh. to have like um you ever watch people drawing on like YouTube and and Twi Twitch and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I I think there's just something interesting think, about um, seeing people's workflows. I think, can we make the particles all kind of like in a ring that come out in a ring instead of just kind of a burst around him? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like that was the kind of landing burst I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. huh. Let's see. This okay. be... Now, here's the big, here's the big move. I can use all of those Unity Canvas skills to make <laughs> to make the title screen. Oh, all the years of work have led me to this moment. I think I've understood I my issues new, with um, symmetry. By the way, I want it's... a new canvas. <laughs> I want it to be on. I want it to be a screen space camera. I want it to render on this camera. Oh man, I just you. know how to do it now. Thanks, Mobius. <laughs> My issue is that Terry is not Let's symmetrical just, uh, because uh, he was sculpted, not uh, <laughs> modeled. <laughs> technically, just slap a big old button right here on the canvas mm. and see if I've done the right world space for rotation. Sick, nice. great. Now I just need not ugly buttons. <laughs> it's yeah. literally just going to be big, ugly aerial text with the name of the game and two buttons <laughs> until I have assets that don't suck. Yeah, if you mean uh, these doodles that are on this cube, these are the original doodles by Amanda that, like, gave us the idea to make a game about tadpoles. <laughs> yeah. I'll do some post-processing here now that I have Paula's final textures so I can, we could, I could work with some color contrast. And then <laughs> I'll be able to do that for a final screen. Ooh, that wasn't a lot of power. Up. But yeah, I think this will look good once we have a, a little dust a dust particle. Yeah. I think I pan to 2D mode. Okay, panning to 2D mode doesn't help me. Game view. Okay. Let's see here. I think Okay, well we need a button. We need a button whose text is to start the game, a button whose text is to view game credits. I'm just going to base it off of the layout of Paula's menu. Do we have any fonts in here? Oh, of course we do. Of course, of course, that's the font we have. Why would it be any other font? Why would it be? Any, why would it be any font? But comforta. Yep. I've Every font to comforta. That's oh, the only fuck. font you. Yes, need. you have. Well, the buttons are going to be facade colored. <laughs> no. It, they're not final. It's the Unity <laughs> button is not going to be the final button, so I can put whatever hex code I want. I'm going to get a hex code from Chat. Yep. Chat, give me a hex code color for the buttons, and I'll use it. Any six numbers, one through nine, or letters A through F, six long, and I'll do it. Goodbye, Sophia. Thank you for coming. Bye. And I'll wait. Ha! There we go. Thanks, chat.
We're doing that one. Nice. You've caused this, Alex. No, wait. Who 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 disparaged Facade? Whose fault is this? Okay. I feel like it's Facade. It's just the pink, right? It's like it's yeah, just the, the pink. It's the pink. Okay, that. Hold up, though. Hold up, though, because the color we got the color we got from chat's really good. Really? Yeah. We put it in a hex code um, display. It's a really nice, like, shade of purple. Cool. I can do that. Hello. I can do that right now. Yes. Do you remember how to scale a primitive while keeping all of its aspect ratios the same? Like, if I want to make this sphere just smaller, because I cannot remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good question. I know how to do everything else but that. <laughs> do you do you like select it? Oh no, select it in object mode and then and then yeah. press the R to scale. R. Just make the yes. Twice. Yeah. Mm. For now. This That's is the new good. eye color for uh, Terry for now. Yes. Cool. Oh, so you use the same color. next code. Yeah. Yeah. The hex code for hot pink. Okay, it turned in Unity. It looks a lot more purple. Yeah, it does. It's because it's got the shader on it. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a hot pink. Yeah, from a once you're in game. I could just be blind. What the fuck? I feel like I'm doing this in like <laughs> the most like inefficient way ever. Yeah. <laughs> have we been streaming have we been streaming for forty four minutes because I have no. made no progress. No. Yes. I... yes we have. <laughs> I, I've made a lot of progress now that I've got a task going because my task wasn't very difficult. I have not apologized a single quad on Terry. <laughs> I'm gonna even I'm gonna even I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out skyboxes because I have the time. I'm gonna figure out a sky yeah, I'm just gonna download a skybox and figure it out. Yeah, you can do that. Mm. Just to rub it in in the in the next forty five minutes I have before I have to go. Get oh, I have to put the title in first. Get a cube oh map. my god! Oh, get a cube map. Those you want a cube map? Best ways, yeah. Okay. I okay, my next. Is... We still don't have an official title for this game. <laughs> We've don't got all worry week. About it. We will make one happen. You just gotta okay, put the things right. in the right spot so that we can drag in the correct images when it's when we're ready. Okay, that's fair. It's just gonna say I'm gonna uh it's gonna be um uh sandbox tadpole golf in three D then and in three D is gonna be a different color and bigger and have a, a starburst around it. <laughs> that seems very fair. For how to oh, make a let's sphere just go that's ahead and get that lower poly. Oh, oh! If you go to uh, attribute editor, you can edit it if it's selected. Ooh. Excuse me, what? <laughs> attribute <laughs> editor. Okay. Yeah. Nice to know that the only way that I was going to be able to put Comic Sans in the game was to buy it for fifty euros. Yeah. It <laughs> just because it comes with Windows doesn't mean it's free. Yeah. Bastards. No okay. comic sans for me then. I have I'm gonna pick a different here. Google font though. I go to the attribute editor. I want to go to uh what's the sub menu that I want? <laughs> You know, you trying to get? I'm trying to reduce the. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. Just been looking go at here. a sphere. <laughs> I'm at the attribute editor. Key sphere you can shape also, one. If you go to the channel box layer uh -huh. editor, it'll show you like what things you've inputted, so you can find where you like put in your. Your disc? Ah, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Here it is. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna take another hex code from chat. <laughs> Question Amanda, is how do you know? low poly do we to... want Terry to be? I think pretty low poly. Okay. 
Oops. Uh, yes, Paula? My, I used the cut tool, and now anything that I click does not stay selected. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. I don't know off the top of my head what's happening there. Okay, I will look. And do you remember if tries are okay, or do you want quads, ideally? I think what you want is if it's neither a quad nor a try, <laughs> you don't want it. But I think both are okay. 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 Thank that's you. my memory. That could be wrong. <laughs> but that's my memory. Why did I decide to, to do this this way? Like, why did I, why did I decide to do any of this this way? <laughs> I don't That's know. what I want to know. I do not know if what I'm doing right now is useful. <laughs> I trust you. It's the process. Thanks. It's true. Custom gravity. Bam. Gravity scale right now is one. So this should be the same as oh. it was. Wait, hold up. Hold up. What? This is. Oh, it's because my actual text object isn't big enough. <laughs> there we go. 400 mm -hmm. by 2. Bonk. <laughs> there we go. It's because my text object was too small. So I think what we want here. Put that there. Uh, can I make it bold? No, bold looks gross. Yeah. I mean, if I could add a drop shadow to it, I would. This is temp, so I'm not going to. <laughs> and I thought about making the in 3D tween, but I don't think I'm going to make it do that, because, again, it's temp. <laughs> I get my hex code from that yet. Alex, do I have a new hex code in chat? Uh, F69109. All right. Yeah, you do. There we go. What's happening? I feel like I enjoy 3D modeling. Oh, that orange, that though. How to do it. Quite hear you. Oh, sorry? I didn't quite hear you. Oh, I enjoy 3D modeling when I actually remember how to do it. Yes, yeah, same. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was like towards the end of the class that I took, I was like getting the hang of it, and I was like, this is yeah! pretty cool. And then, like, afterwards, I was like, but I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now here I am, so who's a hypocrite? Okay. It's probably me. 3. 5, no, that's okay. 3. Me 5. too, too. No, it needs to be bigger than that. Four. Six. Do you remember six. if... No, it starts to get weird. Five. I have, like, two edges selected. Go. Oh, wait, I did it! Oh. Mm. If you want, if you have a gap and you want to fill, fill it in, yeah, it's at the top. It's all the symbols are really hard to read, but yeah, it, it's just at the top next to the cube, the orange cube. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember doing that once upon a time. <laughs> oh, this title scene, this title screen just looks terrible. I love it. <laughs> It needs, this is the epitome of the programmer made it and it needs good assets. Here, I will, I will hit play and I will stream it to the Discord because it is atrocious. <laughs> we're not, we're not live for me, but now you are live. I am now, look at this. Embrace it. Really take it in. <laughs> really take in what I did over the last 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, move the camera into the world. You get new, new assets for those things. I think it. I think it works. <laughs> That's so yeah, good. Uh, well, again, it, it's very easy to move the center point of the rotator. So it's just all about when the world is final, we'll have a better center point for it and a better distance for it to rotate around, and right. then better assets. But and the buttons will do something. That is very fair. <laughs> So, I feel uh, like this you know. captures the aesthetic of my concept art, so I commend you. 
Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it does. It very much does. It's the 3D version of your temp concept. <laughs> you, get a, you get a cool skybox in there. I mean, indeed. That's hip and happening. <laughs> I like that. My joke title has made it this far. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I didn't hit stop streaming. Thanks. You come in the chat just to say that one. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm gonna, um... I gotta stop telling my friends about streams because they they just come in here to badmouth me. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh God, Terry, demon eyes. They're hot pink. It's hot pink demon eyes. All right. Let's... He lacks pupils. All right, I'm gonna yeah, go to the Unity app. one of the, the downsides of not having the... Uh... <laughs> paint on him yet <laughs> yeah all right unity asset store deliver unto me a sky box. don't get it from the unity asset store just get get a, a cube map and i'm i'm in a sky box. i'm literally getting i'm literally getting a a tech one but like go to the internet don't i hate the there's unity a free asset. button here yeah, okay. Just make sure you only get fine, the image. Fine. <laughs> Don't get like a whole bunch of fine. other stuff. <laughs> I'll get oh, a cute no. map. I remember we had to do cube maps from scratch in the computer graphics class, and it was like so hard to get the things to line up. It was like we always ended up with a big like seam through the sky. That's like this is where the textures meet, and it's like making. Oh no! <laughs> That's not what we want. This is not how my Minecraft clone is supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! And you'd prefer a map in a game of this art style to a skybox? Yeah. Of what, what what are you aiming to have reflect? Hmm. Probably nothing. That, that would warrant a cube map over a skybox. Well, cube map is a skybox. It's just a type of skybox. Okay, but you would prefer one implemented as a cube map over one implemented as just like a flat texture that looks yeah, cool? Yeah, because it looks okay. better when you look around. Okay. It has more definition to it. There's like a little bit of depth when it's a cube map. Um... Did you have a question? Um. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know? Okay. How to merge edges? Like, the, I have a tiny nick taken off somehow that ended up there huh? and i just <laughs> i'm gonna send a screenshot okay. i don't even know like how to ask this uh -huh. i'm just so lost Terry has i don't want i don't want a realistic sky though i want a uh no you want like a cartoony sky i want a stylized one with cartoon You're putting clouds. your screenshot on discord yeah just give me a sec okay well, i don't want to pay money for it I know people that could just make one. <laughs> okay. I want to go back to the arrow. The arrow was better than the arc. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, there we go. Fantasy Sky Box. It, I, the, the first link on Google took me back to the app store. Oh, oh, you want to select? Okay, Polly, you want to select <gasps> the two vertices and um, so oh. like go into whatever at the vertex mode, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there should be a way. There should be some kind of way <laughs> to merge <do laughs> <I>? them. <laughs> oh, I did it! I don't even know what I did. <laughs> 
Wait, what happened? I wasn't paying attention. What happened? We merged a couple of vertices, I think. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. What did I do? Um, and you can do the ended. same thing. You want to make sure that you don't have two edges overlapping as well. So I think oh. you can do the same thing in edge mode to make sure that, like, oh. you select and make. Yeah, right. <laughs> you get. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna. gonna, select I'm gonna Alex, I'm gonna push the title screen now. Um, okay. I don't. Quite Actually, no. Wait, wait. Do you want me to implement the skybox in it first before I push it? Uh, wow. You don't have to. It's on, okay. Oh, that's another thing we could do fast today is, um. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, you fell through the world. I did. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Um, oh, no. can we do the, can we do that bar edit where the bar, um, fills instead of accordions? Let me try it. Yeah. I think that's not too hard. Canvas. Slider. Fill area. Fill. Uh. Amanda, if you shift right click on an edge or vertex, that's where you get the the merge tool comes up. not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Wait. When it, when it, whenever is anything as easy as we think it's going to be. Does that do anything? Yeah, there we go. It was as easy as I thought. <laughs> Good. Game development. Sometimes it be like that, sometimes it don't. It's true. <laughs> oh, man. CG. No, I don't want to get to pay for one, though. Wait, but I, wait, I bought the, Stick I like got a... the Unity free. Can't you just stick like a color in there for now? If it's temp anyway. I think. Well, I could. No. Well, I can do that now super easily. The problem is it's not a um, cube map. Yeah. Oh, I see. So we wouldn't be able to quickly apply the final one. Google mm. images to it for a cube map, and see if one comes up that that you could just plop in there. Because like I said, the quality doesn't need to be good. Yeah. What would it... Um, it should look uh, like a folded out cube. Yeah, okay, no, I'm seeing it. Does it, need to be in a does it need to be in a particular file format? Um, I think yeah. Bing is what it should be. Okay, because I'm getting a lot of just skyboxes, but no, hardly, hardly any cube maps in the style we want. Hmm. I think it's because cube maps are used for reflection. So they're in, they in, end up looking more realistic than a skybox would. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm starting to think we'll only be able to get a skybox. Mm hmm. Oops. So I'm just gonna do a regular skybox. I'm. Okay. I apologize for disappointing. Pause. Scene view. Yeah. Even even the big names, because the Spyro remake is using old school skyboxes because of its art style, and we're closer in art style to that than we are to. Uh, um uh like a again that would warrant using a cube map mm -hmm. hmm. all right here's the question of what color 
That's game view. I don't want to zoom into that. I want to zoom into this. <laughs> oh no. Getting there. What's happening? <laughs> What's up? I think. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is make a lily pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is why Mobius was in 2D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And why the one week game jam is in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> and it's why game real game two real game two will be in 2D. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't mind making a real game in 3D, um, but I would want I mean, to do a lot more practice first before committing to, like, a long project, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to do 3D. Two. I'm still down for it. Mm -hmm. Two. We should definitely do more small stuff in 3D. Yeah. yeah. We can do another game jam. That's true. Yeah. We could just do two in a row before we start a new one. Yeah, I'm really down. Next week's prompt is super good. Yeah, we can see what it is. Because we could get a great prompt. We could get a really good prompt like this week, or we could get like a. There was a really off. There was a really like weird prompt a few weeks ago. Yeah, we could also do a different type of jam. Like we, yeah, when, if, uh, if like one of the bigger ones happens. We're doing yeah, vulnerable, Ooh. invincible. If you go on itch, it's the just the weekly game jam one sixty seven that we're doing right now. Cause it we we knew it was gonna happen in advance. <laughs> and the theme is glide. Oh, that's not the right number either. It must be the the last number. The last number that I have. I don't know why I'm trying to find find an appropriate skybox when like it's gonna be changed anyway right that's what i was saying find, earlier when it wasn't a skybox <laughs> hey amanda yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> do you know how to like uh like, if I do a cut on the top of the object, I want it to show up on the bottom, there we too. Go. It's going to have... Yeah. It's going to have a URL on it. <laughs> well, but That's okay. it will, it is, it's temp, so... Yeah, don't worry about it. That is okay. Um, I think there's a button, Paula, that you press and hold to do that oh. kind of thing. Um, I know how to do Maybe cuts. control? Like, Try holding oh. control while you do it. Whoa, I think that does edge loops. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm just slowly regaining knowledge. <laughs> I need, like, is that, something really specific, though. It, okay. I just need to take, like, the nick, like, a corner out, you know? I don't know if there's something specific for that. I don't know. Um, there must be some kind of... You might be able to do the, like, thing where you put another shape there and then, like, cut out the negative space. Mmm... I think I've done that. <laughs> I, I remember before. that in Blender. Oh, symmetry's working. Oh, sweet. Yeah, nice. I figured out why it wasn't working on, on Terry is because he's not technically, like, symmetrical. Oh. You know, because I, like, sculpted him. And oh, makes sense. I used line of symmetry in the program that I was in, but there's just, it's just not perfectly symmetrical, so it wasn't really perfectly working. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah! <laughs> oh no. But it's okay, I'm just doing it now. But yeah, once I do the reads apology, I should be able to get the shells and why. paint them. I really don't know why Terry falls through the ground nice. sometimes. Maybe if I increase the size of Terry's collider. Give him a big boy collider. Yeah. Like the heart hadron particle collider. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Straight into the wall, Terry. Will you go through, or will you stay? Oh, friend? fuck. Oh. oh, no. Bop. Huh? Makes a lot of dust when he hits the wall, which I think is good. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, is it because he slides down the wall? Yeah, because it's based on collisions, and he's, like, constantly colliding. Well, I think that's, a, that's what we want, though. Mm-hmm. It's just silly because it comes out in a circle, so it's like, it's not, yeah. Uh... I, I'll give you that. Okay. Oh shit! I need to be somewhere else soon, so I think I'm gonna push what I have. All right, and then work on. We'll have a longer um, work window uh, tomorrow, probably, than the hour okay. and a half stream. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> So let me yeah, save I can also and push only do this. The, the hour and a half today. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, if... <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead. I didn't touch anything in sample scene except renaming it. So I'm gonna push all this to master because it's a small project that we can roll back <laughs> if something breaks. Yeah, that makes sense. And commit. And Uh, can you run me through the custom gravity? Yeah, it's really simple. It's just, um, I've got a gravity scale. I've got the rigid body. I turn gravity right. off. Right, I forgot the only, I forgot the only change you were making was a, a modifiable gravity scale. I thought you were making it feel a little more watery also. Well, I, I made this so that I could also do that. But for now, it just does gravity scale. Okay. Because then... Tomorrow, maybe we can take a look at doing the uh, the difference between water and not water. Yeah. I think if Terry lands on land, he should reset to where he was before the hit. I don't think he should be able to launch himself on the side of the water. <laughs> yeah, I think That's he should true. reset if he lands on not water. Because the intent for leaving water is to go to a different pool of water. Mm -hmm. So... And... For modeling the full world, is our plan, Alex, for us to build Kelly's world in texture and in Unity, or for it to be built externally and imported? I think the idea is we have a Unity terrain, which is like the actual like collider of the world, and then we have yeah. like, rocks that Paula makes that we can like place around. <laughs> and, like, oh, okay, so a, mi a, a, a mix. Okay, yeah, that's what I was figuring it would be. I was just double checking. So the the rocks aren't like the thing he steps on. It's just the terrain. Yeah. It, well, it's like it goes on top of the thing that he steps on to mm. make it look nicer. But the like for the program, like the collider isn't attached to the rock. The rock is just aesthetic. But the collider is uh... like by the rock. <laughs> so okay. So the rock should be like small reusable things and not like big. Yeah, like things that we can like scatter around like like right yeah i would say like probably okay. like th like think about how like i this is my best example how like if you're placing a rock in like a sims game there's like three rocks <laughs> yeah that, like, that we could do whatever we want with basically that mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like if you're playing uh, Park Attack and you have your three rocks that you can rotate uh, and your defense around. Okay. <laughs> Basically, we want that. And then I think that's for all of our world assets would just be like four or five world assets that we could just scatter around. Mm -hmm. No one will judge it as long as it's given the context that it was only worked on for a week. Honestly, a world that fleshed out is kind of impressive for just a week, but there are and, like five of us. We haven't done 3D before, though. It's true. We yeah. haven't done 3D before. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm proud of whatever happened. Me I'm too. Already, I'm already happy with the with our bouncy boy. <laughs> yeah, but he could be better. It's we've got like three more days. Yeah. I think the only thing I can do is probably finish Terry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough. Terry's the hero asset. You know, that's true. He's the boy. He's the boy. Well, if I can have made a, a 3D model in a week after not having 3D mm -hmm. modeled in a year, I think I, like I said, I think I'll be pretty happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take a toss up some sounds probably tomorrow or Tuesday. I don't Ooh. think we need that many. Probably not. He's got Mario jumps. Oh. He has... Really? He does? Well, he has uh, the thing, the classic video game thing, where when you're falling, the gravity scale goes up, so he falls faster than he rises. Uh -huh. Which makes him look like he's doing a Mario jump, like, ooh, <laughs> <pop>. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> The way he plops down is so satisfying. Yeah. It's amazing what a little bit of particles will do. Especially if we get them up into our into our Terry art style. I think that'll be really good. Yeah. Ooh. I really liked the bubbles that Paula drew. Yeah, the bubbles are good. I want to make the bubbles better. I think that's what I'm going to work on right now. Like make them Yeah, the bubbles bigger. need more. I think they should uh, size over lifetime. Just like probably, what are they right now? What's their size over lifetime right now? 10? They get up to being 10. Make it 20. Well, let's see, because I also want to adjust this curve. Start size. So start size doesn't matter. Max size. Big boy bubbles. <laughs> Big boy bubbles? <laughs> I still don't know how to light them correctly. Oh, shader. Here we go. Unlit shader. Color. No, not right. Oh, <laughs> uh, rip. UI. Unlit. Detail. I might do it. Yeah, UI bubbles. Because <laughs> they're already billboarded, so they can have a UI shader. Yeah. I just don't like that when they get dark. It seems it seems not right. Yeah, it feels weird to me. Yeah, and I think if they get bigger faster, oh, <laughs> that'll also be good. Let's try. This might be the other the other extreme. Too many bubbles. <laughs> I'm already starting to think that might. Oh. Do we have the bubble scaling with um with uh pa with uh wiggle power? Yeah, their speed is based on wiggle power. So if I go max, wiggle power, <laughs> I was saying their I was saying their amount should base on should, I was saying their amount should be based on wiggle power. Oh, <laughs> so what variable would that be? That would be if more wiggle, if more, more bubbles. If, so if, if he moves with more force, he should make more bubbles. I think they're too big now. You think they're too big? And go down to like three. Yeah. Um. Let's see, where is... 
I'm looking at it on stream, by the way, so I'm a good ways behind. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That seems better. So now you want amount of bubbles based on speed and not speed of bubbles based on speed. So let's yeah. see. Speed of bubbles can be natural. I think the amount should be based on so how speed will be health. constant. And we'll do particle system dot emission rate equals wiggles. Seems like everything in particle system is marked as deprecated. I don't know what the new hot jam is. Yeah. Everything I try it's, to do It's in amazing again, man. I'm going to say this one more time that our stream with the most consistent number of viewers has <laughs> been the one where we're, where we're basically at work. That's fair. It's a good time. I told you. It's, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Work for free, but at work. <laughs> I call it hobby. <laughs> yeah, it's hobby for now. Are you getting any of these bubbles, Casey? Uh, give me a second. It, I'm getting a uh, going through stream delay here. Nice. I like that. I think. Do you think it's too I'm few start, bubbles? I, I think it's too few. I think we should go for more smaller bubbles instead of less big bubbles. Okay. Because now that the bubble lighting is solved, we can shrink them back down a little bit and then have more of them spawn. So like half the size. Oh, not that's not half the size. That's 15 times the size. There we go. No, uh, oh, we don't want that. I mean, I'm very curious to see what that looks like. but and Can we we'll keep it just to see? Times 2F. Yeah, we can do that. We can try um, giant I just want to see... Let's check out some 15 times bubbles. <laughs> yes, let's okay. go, boys. Okay. Big boy bubbles. <laughs> it looks like uh, the Doppler effect, like when you're trying to teach to <laughs> teach kids about the Doppler effect. <laughs> <laughs> looks so good. All right, let's bring them back. Back all the way down to 1.5. So if you oh, got, you look so dumb. If you got a little bit of wiggles, well, that was a lot of little wiggles, and then you got a little bit of wiggles. I think low poly Terry is gonna be pretty cute. Nice. Ooh, I'm excited. And Do you have progress sticks? Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like much. I will put them on Discord, but it's kind of like. It's kind of. It doesn't look like I'll much yet. To, to, I'll get ready to rig new Terry then when he's ready. Well, he's not because he's be real ready simple. Until... Terry has like ten. Terry has like eleven bones. Yeah, he's not a complicated. A, I think that would be a. And, that would be a tadpole with eleven and it's bones. A, and it's like a. And it's it's he's basically a spine with some legs. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really. He doesn't have elbows. He doesn't have knees. Yeah. I mean, they're not really bones. They're more like squish points <laughs> for Terry. They're squish points. They're both. His aperture has like 11 bones. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know what you do with the armature inside of Unity. Because like I have access to it, but I don't have a good. Like what happens if I. Oh. Um, Have you discovered what to do with the armature in Unity? A what did you spine. do? What did you do to Terry? So, oh. Ooh. Oh, what? You're just bending Terry. You're doing what I did. <laughs> oh, Terry whip. Oh, oh it looks good. Oh, look Thanks. at low poly Terry. Now it's, now it's really like Spore <laughs> with this, with this uh, armature. Okay. Yep, you get to just drag his. Oh my god, what have you what are you doing to my boy? Oh, look how they massacred my boy. All these bones. Look at this is a, such a silly hierarchy, but it makes sense that it is the way it is. Okay, we'll look at Oh, the fact that it's the fully oh, the fact that the fact that each bone is a child of the previous bone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just that, like spine yeah, four, no, spine that's, three, spine three, spine four. I know, that's that's his hierarchy. His 
His parentage is very simple because he has the root in his head and he's got his tail as one hierarchy and then each of his legs is mm -hmm. is its own thing. I but that's just, all he is. I'm going to try to make a quick little little armature based uh, wiggle animation then. For Terry, I got eight minutes. I got eight minutes to watch this happen. Okay. So we record... And at 30 seconds, I want the rotation of this. Nope, the other way. 20. Actually, maybe I do want it that way. 20 that way. And then bone 2. 20. Ten. Bone Probably two, have to redo three. this. <laughs> Yeah, Alex, don't do it too complicated because you're going to get a new Terry. 2.5. Yeah, Hopefully, a Terry with color. <laughs> <laughs> do my best. I think actually bone 4 should be minus 5. Bone 3 should be minus 5. Yeah, just, if you well, need I just want to more... get a feel for the armature. If you need more, let me know if you'll if new Terry will need more um, points that he can bend at for his tail to move in a good way. This seems like a good amount. Um, okay. And then at one second, I want bone one to be at like minus thirty. Bone two to be at like twenty. Three to be at like ten. Bone four to be at like five. Bone six to be at like two point five. Oh, look six, at him! Look at him prep up. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. Well, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but I like it. And then at one thirty, return to normal. <laughs> Maybe actually never be normal. Never normal. Never be normal. We'll probably want transitions from from idle to charging and charging to idle. Yeah, because he'll have he'll have an he'll probably have an idle loop. He won't just sit there. Well, the nice thing is that Unity does animation tweening for you. So if we have an animation for idle and an yeah. animation for charging, it should interpolate them in a in a good way. Here we go. Well, yeah, well, as long as it's so vastly different that it breaks. Gotta look at him wiggle. Yep, I'm gonna speed him up. Second loop. It seems you've made more of an idle than a wiggle, than like a charge wiggle. Yeah, I think this is more of an idle. I think it'd be kind of fun if he idled, he like looked around a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Like he moved his head around. Yeah, you could do that. Does he have the bones for that? He has one head bone, which is enough, which should be enough. <laughs> which is cool. that bone 0, 012? Uh, oh, I didn't name his head. It should be 0, 012, yeah. In new Terry rig, I'll make sure to name all the bones better. Oh no, zero twelve is uh... zero twelve might be his neck. Yeah, zero thirteen. This is oh, these are his leg bones. Only oh, why are his back legs not his right legs not named? They should be. I, I might have forgotten to name them. Yeah, no, no, but I think it'd be kind of cool if he looked around and, like, if he was charging while he's charging up, he waves his two front arms a little bit, like he's getting ready to get. Right. I'm a big crouch. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, it's like the day he's, like, just doing. He's just revving up with his two little, tiny little vestigial arms. Mm hmm. All right, well, I've got somewhere to be at 5.30, so I'm going to need to step out for now.
Okay. Okay. Bye, See guys. Bye, chat. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye, KC. <laughs> Are you guys sticking around? Yeah. I think for a little bit, yeah. Be around for a little bit. Me too. I'm in the zone. I'm in the retopologization <laughs> zone. Yes. <laughs> I believe it. Now that I sort of remember what how to do it, it's not that hard. Look at our boy. What makes what it hard is because he's not perfectly symmetrical, but that's he, okay. He be wiggling. Do you basically like extrude along the mesh? And to retopologize? Yeah. No, so what you do is you make your model live so that anything you do will stick to it. And then you do the quad draw tool and you basically um, just go like uh, go ham on it. Like you draw Whoa. your own quads. So you have Whoa. very fine yeah, you have very fine control over how many quads are in your mesh when you do that. Oh. Um, and um, then you have, uh, basically, you just create a new mesh on top of it. But I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> no idea that was even a function. That's sick. These are the things I paid money to learn. <laughs> <laughs> like so much money. Like so much money. Um, gotta use them, right? Right. Yeah. But, yeah, turn. after I do the retopology, I'm gonna have to remember how to do the like what like the shells and the like UV unpacking, Ooh. like all that all that stuff. I'm gonna have to remember Vaguely it. Vaguely remember. I did it once. But I'm excited. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Terry on my website, and then I'll finally Woo! have more than one three D model on my website. Nice. I like that lily pad and flag a lot. Cool. Since you made it right in Maya, it probably isn't very high poly to begin with. Like you might be able to just get away with whatever polygons already exist. Yeah, I tried to make it like super. Mm -hmm. Low poly. There's yeah. 82 vertices, so I hope that's okay. You're probably chilling, especially because cool. it's such a small game. Yeah. I don't know how I could make it more low poly. <laughs> <laughs> Chunky. I think you're chilling. Does that look good? Should I change anything? I like it. I think it'll be good. Cool. Holding the button, gravity scale is real small. If you're not holding the button, gravity scale is big. Right? doesn't seem to do anything. Wiggle. I've seen EX not bit, looking at the screen. Wrong, but... <laughs> he looks 
so cute. He's like flowy. <laughs> yeah. He's got like a little bit something going on with his front leg, but that'll be fixed in Terry 3.0. <laughs> Let me look at stream and see. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway. Is it at all possible? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Um, in the UI, I think he a little tapple icon, a little squish. Hmm. It's supposed to be like a, a round circle. Yeah. So right hmm. now. Oh, yeah, oh, I see. He is a little bit squished. Does that look better? Uh, it's loaded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I trust your judgment, though. Okay. I'll, be, I'll just keep looking at him wiggle. And you can, when you when you get to that part <laughs> of the stream, you can tell me yeah. if it's working. <laughs> it's, like, straight up loading, so we'll see. Oh... Oh, that looks better. That's nice. good. And, and I think he can be a little bit smaller. Yeah, that makes in sense. In general. <laughs> he looks so cute. He's like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you think Han Handle Boy should be smaller? I think so. I don't know how to make him smaller without making him... Or oh, maybe I could scale him. Yeah, scale him. Sick. Nice. <laughs> that might be too small. Maybe like... It's loading again. <laughs> no, that's okay. I think... Um, yeah. That seems right. So he's like just covering the, the bar, but he's not like as chalky as he was. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Because I like the way he like breaks out of the bar a little bit. Yeah, the overlap is nice. definitely a style. We're aesthetic. <laughs> also, for importing stuff in Unity from Maya, mm -hmm. should I like combine? I use three different objects that are different meshes in my thing. Like, should I combine them into one? Um, so you should give it to know. Casey, and he can re-export it as a .dot blend file. And I think that would be ah, better okay. for me because Unity, Unity and Blender like work together. Okay. Um, so I think if you get it as a dot blend, that'll be the best. Because that's how I'm it. able to like animate with the armature. Ah, uh, you can't do that with Maya stuff. Yeah, I don't think you can do that with Maya Maya exports. <laughs> there's, a, there's a file type called ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ass export. <laughs> export that ass, girl. <laughs> Ritz apologize. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I do not know any of these file types. Oh, God. <laughs> I've never actually had to like use anything. <laughs> that is very fair. Wait, so if I have a flag, I was supposed to make rocks and decoration all. Was there something else? Like a goal that we haven't decided yet? I was thinking like a collectible. Like we were talking about coins before, but like something maybe better yeah. than that. I don't know. <laughs> would it Would it just like be like a, a count on the screen? I think so, yeah. Just like okay. how many bits have you gotten? Because then we could like hide them around and you could just like... Yeah! Them, like a collectible. No, that'd be game. really fun. Because then it does that like explorey I... thing, like you were saying, like yeah, uh, for for stuff. It's like a a short hike, <laughs> yeah. a little bit. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, and I like that because then it doesn't it doesn't really matter that our hop controls aren't perfect because it's like you're not being penalized for doing a whole bunch of hops. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what I like too. You're just like hopping. You're just it's fun controls as yeah. long as it's fun to hop. Mm -hmm. What can you collect? I don't know. Yeah, we kind of talked about this before and like got nowhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do What's something cute? Want that is cute and and not too hard to like draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <right? laughs> it could be a two D oh. asset that we billboard. Like if we don't want to do a three D model. Yeah, if it was like a star mind. or something, it could fun. just spin. Hmm. Maybe like shit. I don't know. No, that's too graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes. <laughs> the humor. I'm <laughs> what about, like, a donut or something? Or Donuts. a drink? Like a nutrient? Yeah, Thank you. Have you seen uh, Cells at Work? Where they're like delivering nutrients um, to to the cells, and it's just like a like the uh, the stomach is like a sandwich factory, and they're just like loading up boxes <laughs> of sandwiches, and it's like this is the abstraction of what like the body's <laughs> nutrients is. It's just little sandwiches in boxes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> like that's every, funny. Every cell needs sandwiches to survive. <laughs> so we could do something like that. Like we need to get sandwiches. Donuts would be cute. Donuts are pretty cute. It's true. Make them pink. <laughs> yeah. That's gross. I just have to think this about it. Try my best to let Terry escape. <laughs> the controls are not refined yet, though. When he has not a lot of wiggles, he does not go very far at all. <laughs> Whoa. No, he doesn't have the hops to get out yet. He needs, he, he needs oh, more help. Yeah. He needs an even taller step. Fun things about root apologizing is you can kind of just do like click 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 and then you can like fill in your grid. <laughs> Whoa. That sounds like magic. Pretty fun. Although if I had my 2020, I probably would have clicked one button and done all this already. <laughs> then, when I was Googling like trying to get started again, it was like Automatic retopology comes to Maya 23, what? and I was like, oh, okay. I wonder if it's good. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I, from the preview I saw, it looked like it worked well on like pretty simple stuff, but. Oh, so cool. Whoa. <laughs> but I have Maya 2019, and I'm not about to uninstall it because that's a whole <laughs> hassle. That is very Yeah. Cool. What if he collects like fruit? You know, like Pac Man? That's cute. Fruit is very cute. Yeah. Cute fruit. Yeah. Like apples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bananas. He needs more muscle. Yeah. He needs, <laughs> he needs more pep. Actually, I have, a, I have a pep variable. What am I doing? Just add more pep. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's at 100 pep. I'm going to give him 200 pep. Damn. Ooh. Okay, let's see if this is enough pep for him to escape. Whoa, that might have been too much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just like.
like hold your horses. <laughs> Does this game decide? <laughs> Okay, maximum power escape. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I love him. Maybe 150 pep is the right amount of pep. Or maybe pep needs to like scale. Mm in a non-linear way. Can I get some fancy math equations in here? Yeah, like a, like a exponential. Whoa. Wow, that's so fancy. That's like a whole <laughs> parabola. <laughs> Isn't it? Well... I like to half, half a parabola. <laughs> well, it's like the... It's, yeah, but it's like <laughs> more... It's got more... It's an depth. intense parabola. Yeah. And then on the other side, it's not a, like a parabola, but don't worry about the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a parabola is better for Pep. Maybe you're right. Like parabolas. That's a fun shape. Isn't it? Yeah. That's what all platformers are about. About those sweet, sweet parabolas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Where is the pep added to the step? It's right here. Hmm. Might be making a rock. For the card game that I'm working on as an illustrator, one of the, my first tasks was to draw a rock, but it was so hard. And then finally, we were like, we're going to circle back to this rock, right? <laughs> so, like, months later, like, fast forward several months to like two weeks ago, and it was oh like, try God. that rock again. So, I tried that rock again, and I was like, dude, I'm so much better at drawing rocks. Check out these rocks. And then it was like, maybe we don't want a rock. <laughs> and I was no! like, no. Oh. <laughs> Bye bye. No. <laughs> bye, thanks for coming. Goodbye. I think, I think I'm, I'm about to, to sign off to you after I test right. out the space pep. Mm -hmm. I think I remember seeing those rocks in your new fucking window. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, but, better, like, newer rocks, but yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I feel like it's. Rocks are hard. It's like, yeah, it's deceptively. <laughs> Difficult. Like it seems like it. It's simple, but to make one, look organic, I guess, and good. Yeah, exactly. It's sometimes the simplest things are the hardest. Yeah. That was the entire like Mobius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cleanest escape, but yeah, I think um, I think I'm out for the day. Thank you for All right. thank you for 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 jamming. Yeah, it's we'll do it again time. soon. I'm sure. Yeah, probably <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good one, y'all. All right. Goodbye. Bye.